Hi, welcome to this quick tutorial. We are going to see how to use the Cable and Surface tool from Sanctus Library. Okay, I'm using Blender 3.5. It's recommended for everything that it's geometry nodes and decals. We are going to go to ropes and cables. This is coming on the next update. We are going to use both work the same way. I'm going to use this one. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is uh, add the asset. We select it and we go to edit mode and we remove both vertices we go to draw surface we will go to the modifiers tab and select the target object we can use this and now we are ready to draw the cables you press hold and release and it's basically as simple as that Here is basically the color of the cable. You can adjust the roughness. The frequency is like the texture of the cable if we have less frequency. As you can see, it becomes something like this. And the cable resolution also, it's basically the density. So with less resolution, we also don't, don't have enough geometry to create the frequency. We have a radius for the cable. This will change the, the handles to auto. It will look a bit more natural. You can always, for example, this here is happening because we have two vertices too close to each other. We can select one of those and remove it. We can always change a bit the, the position of the vertices too, to adapt it to, the, to our liking or needs. The cable distance is basically how far away from the object it will be. This is the default uh, endpoints, but you can always use a replace and change the object to whatever you like. The tips handle is like the distance of the, the handle to make it like more uh, straight here on the on the beginning and avoid this superposition there. The tips distance is depending on the endpoint uh, geometry that you have or or object. You can use it to separate them a bit. The scale of the those tips and an offset also in case you need it. The color is especially for the ones that I provide. You can change this here. Also, if it, it's metallic or not, roughness, col uh, color of the lights, and the intensity of those lights. Let's say you finished with this and you want to convert it to mesh. You go to geometry nodes. And at the end of everything here, you add a realize instance. And then, since this is a curve, you cannot just directly apply this. You right-click, convert to mesh. In our case, here we have to shade out to smooth. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.